Alright, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to 99 and 1 Collectors. I'm John. Josh. Alright, so, I know you have very, very strong feelings about this. Yeah, we'll just bang it out of the way, because, you know, most of are talking about, like, the May 4th reveals. Right. But this got released, like, in the middle like, probably in the weekend, usually, I think it was, like, Reveal or Thursday or Friday. Yeah, just there. <clears throat> And, I mean, we can even go quickly through these pictures, because, like, everybody has these figures, and if not, you can you can find them on eBay. The only one I checked was this purple one that's 27 so it's 2 bucks above what mm-hmm. they're offering it for. Yeah, and um, they, Hasbro did say, you know, like, the reason they are re-releasing it is because they want it to be more screen accurate. Yeah, don't give them that. Don't give them that. <laughs> don't, I don't give them that. I mean, that's what they're saying. The Killmonger And they are. They are screen accurate. Like, they do look nicer than the ones I have, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. And especially not this one, though. This one, honestly, this one, I can't tell the difference. Shuri, that, that one, yeah. But Shuri, I like that it's purple. Because yeah. the older one was, like, a gray brown. Her purple's are more prominent. But I think also another thing is, like, all these figures already had face printing, so it's, like... Yeah. It's not that good, like, crazy of an update, right? Just, like, a different paint scheme that you... Like, unless you're... Like, you wouldn't be able to notice on the shelf. Like, if you looked at mine or somebody else's, right? Right. I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I, I and, and with the higher price point, and, like, Black Panther 2 hasn't... I mean, it's been announced, but we haven't had any footage. We haven't had a trailer. Like, there's nothing besides just get these figures out at a higher yeah, price point. Know? You know what I was maybe thinking? What? Like, just because I made, made the fourth reveals, I was, saw, I was like, okay, I saw, like, the new Leia, the new the new Cantina band, and their pre-orders are spring 2023. Okay, we are in spring 2022 currently. So those are a year out. Honestly, yeah. what I'm thinking is maybe they're, they're so behind on cutting the molds that they're just like, we need product now. We already have these molds cut and ready to go. Just, just pop them in so they have something on the shelves. And just, yeah, because they are just repaints, right? Exactly. So I honestly think that they're just behind on the molds and, like, maybe the factories are backed up. Because even, like, just listening to Forrest Wins they were saying, like, their molds are also backed up. Hmm. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's something. an interesting interesting take on it, for sure. Um, now, I'll, I'll give my argument. I mean... <laughs> Because if we look at it, you know, it is the same sculpt, right? Uh, nothing's pinless. Yeah. The female uh-huh. elbows are single. Like, it is it is what it is. But, <laughs> and and I think where you said it was, like, more about greed, more about wanting to cash in on just new collectors, uh-huh. that's what they're doing, right? Like, people who uh-huh. potentially missed out on this. And I know there are they are on the aftermarket, but if if I'm a new collector... Saying okay, well, I can pay for a twenty twenty three dollar figure on eBay over a twenty five dollar figure that's screen accurate. I think most new collectors will go for the twenty five dollar screen accurate one. Mm-hmm. So I, I definitely see why they're like, let's let's get this out there, let's get people to buy it. New collectors are joining. Let's just get them fed. I think that... the only thing that I think. Like, would have been appropriate if you go to the next slide. It's like, just release him, right? Because he was the bat. So it's like, not everybody buys all the figures. And so I think right. this is like, like, this is a sick repack. Like, and they've been doing that recently. Like, they did like the Vulture one where it was like, oh, new screen actor paint apps. And he even True. had like the little controls. And yeah. like, I didn't mind it because I already had the build figures, so I didn't even rebuy it. But like, a lot of people that don't buy seven plus figures, every right. single figure, like, it's like, so hard to do. Don't buy the whole thing. Just for budget reasons or for like, you don't even like the characters that are, like, not part of the, like, right. a comic book character. So I think, like, yeah, like, Mbaku would be a cool, that's, like, an awesome re-release. Yeah. But, is. like, the other ones, it's just, like, it's just senseless to me. <laughs> and not only that, two Black Panthers! Yeah. That is just We um, get the Vibranium charged, and as well as the, just standard. Mm-hmm. But, but, yeah, it's Walmart exclusive, but who cares? It is Walmart exclusive, and we do have Target exclusive, so. Mm-hmm. And that's another layer, but... Yeah, just just repaints. Again, if you don't have them, get them. If you already have them, I don't see why you would get them, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, that's the Black Panther stuff. We're jumping into NECA here. 
with the Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> what do you think about Dude, this? That looks like April O'Neil. It is. It's Judith Hogue's face. They just repainted Judith Hogue's face at it. <laughs> So, I, have you seen her post anything about it? I haven't seen her. She's usually pretty on it, but... No, she's going to be pretty involved, but no, I haven't. Yeah, um, it's a NECA figure. It looks really great. Good detailing. I like the accessories. The wrap with oh, yeah, the ear and the That's eye. Sweet. I didn't... I'm not familiar with, like, Bride of Frankenstein. Like, I've never watched a Bride of Frankenstein movie. Um, so I don't really know, like, what the accessories mean, but... I mm. think they're really doing a good job with this monster line. Um, I know, I kind of, I don't have any Monsterverse figures yet, but, like, they all look so good. Like, if I ever see them, like, on clearance or anything, which I haven't, yeah. I would pick them up. Like, the Frankenstein one looks sick, the Mummy one. The Mummy one. Uh, Igor. Yeah, they, oh, Igor, yeah. yeah. They just look cool. I think it's a, it's a really cool crossover and a cool concept. Um, I think they're fun. <laughs> oh, wait, so this is actually a turtle. Oh, I thought it was actually part of the Monster line. Oh, no, no, this oh, is. No, this is, like, the homage, like, yeah. the four turtles they Okay, now I'm on track. Okay. Yeah, that's why they <laughs> used Judas. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> these are cool. Oh, no, I was thinking the other ones, like the actual yeah. ones, mine's cool too. Yeah, the gray ones and the, the gray scaled ones that they did. Yeah, no, it's just the turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah they like a wolf. Yeah, Wolfman. Oh, okay. So what do you think they're going to They're probably going to do Casey then, too. What do you think they're going to make Casey big? Well, no, I, I, I don't know. So we have Mummy, is Michelangelo. Right. We have Igor as Raph. Igor. We have Bride of Frankenstein Frankie. as April. Frankie as, I think it's Leo, right? Or is it Donnie? I don't remember. I can't remember, but I, we, those two are still left. And then also, potentially Splinter. I don't know if they'll do that. Um, we'll see. One of them's got to be a Wolfman. I think Casey would be a good choice for Wolfman. Casey, yeah. And just, yeah. That's cool. And like, you don't have to use Elias's. Uh, face, because you can just add like the wolf fur all over it, so then you're fine, <clears> you know. But they got the license to do it. Now, well, right? they he, he played like they got it the for far the, too back. They, I think they got it for that one figure. <laughs> oh, okay. I think Elias doesn't like doing this, because from mm -hmm. what I understand, Judith had to like talk to him and try to like convince him just to do that one figure two pack. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool figure. I like it. Let's get to the main topic here. Uh, the uh, Wednesday live stream, May the fourth, of course. Um, you didn't watch it. <laughs> no, I ain't got time for that. I watched it on, on my lunch. Um, it was it was okay. Um, I don't know. I didn't like the personalities on there. That's one thing that I like about the Marvel Legends is that it's it's three dudes. Um, that like kind of know each other and play off of each other and are are always right. They're always there. Dan and Dwight are always there, talking about stuff. And I think I like that like relationship that they have with the Star Wars stuff. It's usually like sometimes it's just two of them, sometimes it's just three of them, four. Like I don't know. It's a little different. They don't flow as well, you know. Like when people hang out with each other more, they get to know each other more and can kind of play off of each other. But so it was okay. Um, Makes sense though. Yeah. Uh, the Marvel team always, in all regards, uh, management and run better than Star Wars. And I wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> no one, no one on the Marvel team is gonna be leaking their lab has lab. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right. Um, I will say though, I was a bit because I watched it. Uh, I think at ten o'clock, so it was already like already had happened. Um, but um, I didn't get on Instagram or anything. I didn't check anything out. Um, I watched it fresh. I was. I was underwhelmed by the reveals that they did. Mm -hmm. And even the pipeline stuff was like kind of like, uh, okay, I guess. What got me back into it was the role-playing props mm -hmm. and the the Jimmy Kimmel, Obi-Wan, Ewan McGregor reveal. And oh, I, think, yeah. I think because Ewan, maybe Ewan wanted to reveal it, or maybe they wanted it to be done on Jimmy Kimmel, that way more people see it. I think that took away from the live stream because they didn't have that big reveal of Obi Wan uh -huh. number one and to get to talk about it. And even <laughs> even in the Jimmy Kimmel clip, <laughs> Ewan's like, it doesn't even look like me. Like he was roasting the the likeness. Oh really? I yeah. Thought it good. Yeah, he roasted the likeness. He's like, it doesn't even look like me. 
You can get like no way. Yeah, so it is what it is. I felt like if I was working at Hasbro and they and I had you and McGregor say that to me, I'd be like, oh, that stinks. <laughs> Dang, no, I thought it, was, it has a good likeness. I thought so, too. But, I mean, we are not the ones being made into an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like always, like, all the Obi Wan figures, it's always had good likeness. Like, he has a good face. I think it's a good, can... like, especially with the beard, it helps kind of just make the face yeah. better. So, all right. But first up, we have Ewok Village Endor. And I believe you called this one. Did I? I'm pretty sure, I think we were talking a while back, and we and you mentioned, oh, I'm not worried about it, they're going to release an Ewok Village Leia, and then, boom, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, for me, I, I don't know, I'm a, I, I'm a sucker for anything Star Wars, so, like, it's hard for me to be underwhelmed, I'm, like, rarely ever underwhelmed. As long as it's, like, a new sculpt, a new figure, a new character, mm -hmm. like, I love any character, whatever they give me, I'm always excited, so, <laughs> just, uh, 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 uh this, like, Princess Leia, like, which is on the Ewok Village. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's it looks cool. good to me. It's cool. I like it. I think they were they they were really stressing on the live stream how, like, this is, they said at least, the the most accurate likeness that they have had of Carrie Fisher. Mm -hmm. And I think they yeah, see just... it, like, because Carrie, <laughs> Carrie has that scowl. Like, do you kind of, she, like, her eyebrows, I don't know, she, like, she's kind of scowling. That's just how Carrie yeah, yeah. Fisher is. Was yeah. and I think she was and she got older. older. <laughs> but she got older, she scalped more. Yeah, she was a lot more angrier for sure. <laughs> but I think they, I think that I agree with them. Like it does look more like her, just kind of her more neutral face. Like, cause the, the eyebrows are a little bit downturned. I'm like not like angry, but just a little bit downturned. And so yeah, I think it looks good. I like it, but yeah, again, like it's just all sculpts, land. You can't complain. Yeah, that's true. Like. It is nice. All right. There's the packaging with the green. Uh, yeah, yeah. Going that 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 uh, that what is it? That art piece keeps yeah. going. That's good. That's good. I like it. Um. Also, one thing I think I don't have any Ewoks, but you could take that that spear and I think put it on Ewoks. Oh my gosh! That's what. That's what. Yeah, that's what it's from. But, right. Yeah, they've only been like what? Three. Pop there's only been two. There's been Low Gray, which is like, like the Gray One Mass release, and then Pop Blue, which was the SDC exclusive box right. set one. The speeder, yeah. So hopefully they release that re release that one for people because like I don't know, it's pretty rare. Yeah. Alright, but yeah, that's the first one they did. Next one. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. They they went up for pre order and then they do add this on shelf spring twenty twenty three, and I think we'll get into why they did that, but but yeah, and so, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. It's a year out. It's a whole a whole, year out. A whole year, yeah. Like, I don't know. It's that's crazy. Well, it I don't, honestly, I feel like I don't know. Sometimes you just pause on the period. It's just like if you, yeah. We'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, but here, how did you feel about figuring? Oh, these guys are sick. Who doesn't <laughs> want a cantina van? These guys are sick. And also, I was thinking of. Um, so this is like this is legends, but I was thinking to make a custom with this guy because there's um there's this is like way far out legends. Okay, so we know like City of City Symmetra Plagueis, and then Plagueis had a master oh. um named like Yeah. So like Plagueis' master is this species. Oh okay. and so like I was thinking like you could get like it's like just like a custom, you know, because like a figure they never make make right. Right, yeah. It's too like, obscure, yeah. This is awesome because we get that head sculpt. I could make that figure, and then even add it to like rebel bodies, make some rebels. <laughs> so, I don't cool. know. I just like alien heads. Yeah, no, that's cool. I, I like the concept of like, especially. I'm pretty sure this will be double packed, uh, depending on what else is in the pack. But I think they should double pack this one, because then that way people can get the three of them that you need for each fluid, of course. But yeah, like as soon as they announced this, I was like, oof, I can already like. No, get... th th this is not double packed. It's just it's just single. You think single? All right. Well, that'll... no, they already put the. What was the double pack? There was a double pack? No. They haven't they've only announced three in the wave, so I'm just I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know what what it is, but I'm thinking they should double pack this because then it can be, you know, easier to get. But I I mean I don't see this as a problem of getting, but we'll see. No, I mean like I don't think 
Yeah, there hasn't been a dull pack. Oh, so that's actually a good reminder. There actually hasn't been a dull pack in the new box, I think, ever. Yeah, there hasn't. Was it a so good double pack? With what? From Clone Wars? I don't know. No, dude, they haven't done a double pack for years. All right. Well, I think it'd be fun. Yeah, like I, when they announced him, and they were like in this live stream, they were already alluding to like something else. I was like Max Rebo, no. but <laughs> they're not. Oh, that's sick. They're just single pack. yeah. So. I think it'd be fun to get this guy and just have like a nice cantina, like Dio. Like I think that's an easy Dio to get set up, especially if you get Amal. But three different flutes, so you need at least three of them. They look good. <laughs> I, I like them. Yeah. The different hands. Why do you need five? Why do you five of these guys? Well, yeah, you need five because then you can get this bad boy. <laughs> uh, that's their yeah. deluxe. I honestly, this I feel is a good deluxe. The amount of yeah. plastic you're getting is worth that 36 or whatever mm -hmm. price point. You're getting, I mean, it's like basically like a dial piece because it's huge right now. Yeah, you're getting three different instruments, seats. Knowledge field, dude. <laughs> Knowledge field. Yeah, Figrin, I think Figrin Din, I think is the other guy's name. Yeah, Figrin Din. Yeah, Dan. Figrin Din, yep. Figrin Din. But Nolan Shield, I think this is definitely worth that deluxe price. And honest, I mean, and the cool thing is, you only need one of this and then five of the other ones, right? So you're paying less to get the whole band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you only need three. Though I just get five because I want the custom. Like, I only need like, yeah. Well, no, no, you need three for the flute, and he has three instruments in this deluxe. Oh so, my gosh! Okay, so you need a lot of them. So you need six total. So you oh, get okay. five of the main line. And then one deluxe, and you have your whole complete band. <laughs> yeah, you need the cantina band. You know, this is actually pretty sick, just because the la the last um, has kind exclusive I got. I I was like, I got it. It came with the cantina dial piece. You oh, know what I'm yeah, yeah. It, it's just cool. And like, even if you don't have it, like, I'm sure like there's like files you can put oh, it. Yeah. Um, it's cool to get like a cantina display going. Oh yeah, you can get an easy dial. That's easy. Like Mos Eisley. Jabba's Hut, Jabba's Palace um, files are all out there. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, it looks like um, just like it's. I think it's reuse of like the Rebel Fleet Trooper. Okay. Um, I'm not sure it's like just Rebel Fleet Trooper. It's like the head and hands, of course. Okay. Yeah, with the collar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no problem. But that looks good to me. I think it's. I think it's spot on for the Cantina band. I think yeah. they did a great job here. I mean, it's like the whole half the universe wears those shirts, so it's... <laughs> 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 but yeah, you get those three different instruments. I think it's I think it's really cool. They're doing a good job. <laughs> um, Alright, next up is... Oh, and that one, like, I think, actually, that, the deluxe one, I think it has for a Pulse exclusive, because, like, I was looking at it for everywhere, and I couldn't find it, so I just actually pre it from Pulse today. Oh. And I could only find a pulse. I'm pretty sure it's a pulse exclusive. It says on shelf 2022. Oh, okay. So it should... that makes sense. Yeah, this is a pulse exclusive then, and the other ones are kind of the actual wave. Yeah, we'll see. So, well, yeah. Um, but then we get our next reveal, which is the 187th Battalion Mace Windu's uh, troopers, oh, and cool. people, at least some people. I don't know. I was on Reddit the other day. And people were talking about the color. The color, right? Yeah. And they were saying that, oh, they should be purple. But then some people were saying, like, no, that's actually not screen accurate. They are uh, this color. They are more maroon, reddish color. You know, the issue is, is like they were seen very briefly in the Clone Wars and like under harsh light. Yeah. And so it looks like it could be purple, but it also looks like it's maroon. So it doesn't, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's that whole blue or gold dressed stuff like and also like the lego ones are purple the lego like, <laughs> yeah the lego the lego ones went purple and it is the first color when you think of mace windu right purple mm -hmm. lightsaber um i don't know I, I think i think the fact that we're even getting it when it i think it's i think it's fine People, yeah i don't mind it but i think i would have preferred if they were purple yeah. even like a, a darker maroonish purple but i would have preferred it just more of too. a purple tinge yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree with that. But another trooper, it is Walgreens exclusive. 
Mm-hmm. On the new mold. So. I mean, but, this was the year of the worst, man. But people have been finding the current clone trooper. The two twelve. Good yeah. luck. No, people have been finding them. Yeah, people who waste a lot of gas. I ain't got no <laughs> money for gas. <laughs> Uh, it, hopefully, though, when it goes up, if you ever see it go up online, gotta go quick. The two twelfth showed up online. When? Uh, I don't know. SoCal posted about it. Oh, I didn't see it. You gotta turn the notifications on. Alright. I don't collect troops, so... It just sucks, though, because, I don't know, I feel like they shouldn't do True Builders exclusives. That's just a dirty move to the community. Yeah. Especially to the... It's limited like, people stock. know want at least, like, three or four. Just to, like, have a little squad with Mace, you know? Nobody wants, like, one with Mace. It's just that it just doesn't look that good. Yeah, you need at least two. At least yeah. two. At least two, yeah, to flank him, yeah. Okay. So, yes, no more troop building exclusives, please, Hasbro. <laughs> no, this is not starting yet. There's a miscommunication, because I, I understand what you're saying. Not a two-pack. You were saying, like, a double-pack within the case assortment, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking like a two pack, like an actual two pack. I oh, was like, so. that's been a two pack in years. <laughs> no, you mean a double pack. Okay, so now looking at the yeah, the dark side, it's single. So that guy's gonna be hot. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to it get. Like, it's a it's a eight it's a eight figure wave, and then all three are single. Yeah, it looks like. At least that's what dark side's saying. That I think that might change. We'll see. No, dark sides. I've never seen them not be right because they pre order they solicit the whole wave. That's true. They do a whole case. Okay, but back to this guy, Walgreens. There is... Yeah, <laughs> we clapped. There, there is no pre-order for him. What do you mean? That's how all Walgreens are. No, they just show up. No pre-order on shelf 2022. You just have to get him? That's how all Walgreens exclusive are. Even Marvel Legends. They just show up on store shelves first, and then like whatever they have stock left, that pops up on the website, and it goes... All right, there you go. They never do a pre-order, ever. <laughs> really? That's why people hate Walgreens. That's crazy. That's... They just want, because they're paying for traffic, right? Ah, so you're that's right, why yeah. They don't even do, they don't solicit pre-orders, yeah. Okay, all right. So, two, or 187th Battalion? We'll see. 2022, it should be, it's, it's, you know, it's in the fall, a couple months away. Yeah. Next up. The uh, uh, Republican Forcers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, the new Republic Security Droid, yep. In, in, the, in the live stream, they said that it's a completely new tooling, new molding, because they said that they couldn't use the K2SO mold because K2SO was mm-hmm. too tall. Mm-hmm. So they had to, like, go back in and change things. Cause... So that's, I mean, that's kind of nice that... They, I mean, at least oh it now. knowing Hasbro, yeah, that is yeah. Like, like I would, I would expect them to do the the other. I mean, we can go back to the the comic Black Crescenton, where they literally just re released the Black Chewie or Delta Squad or or Delta Squad, right? Just using the Hunter body mold. <laughs> mm-hmm. So no, that's good. Cool. The fact that they they're like, okay, this is actually too tall. We'll actually we'll change it. So yeah, yeah, because it looks like the K two R's legs, but. You're yeah, right. it's it's shorter, it's smaller, more compact. Um, so uh, that's nice, and that's nice that they're doing that for us. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. Um, oh, I love it, especially because we're already kind of like building out that cheap team, so you can display them fighting like the, that that uh, that team, you know, with Mayfield. Yeah, please. We're just missing uh, those I, crazy tweet twi- twi- <laughs> We just need that big red and that big double. boy. Yeah, that's all the deluxe for that. Oh, that is a deluxe, oh, baby. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> yeah. Chance, Clancy Brown, that. dude. Clancy Brown. He's been in Rebels. He's been in Clone Wars. I love Clancy Brown. It's cool that he actually <laughs> got to be in Star Wars mm-hmm. and not just do a voice, even though those are cool, but he got to be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool because it's like another army builder, but looking on the, on, the, on the website, it looks like it is one per case of eight. Okay. So. Again, uh, another, I don't know, it'll be hard to find, we'll see. Because some of those, you yeah. know, we never know. We never know But exactly. I know, but this, people, I don't know, people would be as hyped for this, I think. Yeah. Unless, like, that was your favorite episode, which that was my favorite episode, that's why I'm hyped for this. But, it's like, it's just a droid, I feel like people will pass this up. I think honestly. so, too. 
I think so too. And it's like just the way Zero went. Zero saw yeah. right now for like fifteen bucks. Yeah, and he's not like flashy, right? He's just like kind of a straight droid. Like K two S O, you can still find it. He's a, even a main character, right? Exactly. So, so yeah, I shouldn't be too hard getting like three or four of these guys. So not bad. Uh, spring twenty twenty three again, a year out, a year out. Um, yeah. Next up, so that that is the end of the like the black series reveals that they did, um, at least on the show. Um, so again, like I think three, that is kind of underwhelming. Yeah, you're right. right there was you only a new sculpt. Well, what's four? But like three and a half. <laughs> right, like, and no, like, I mean, outside of Leia, nothing. I don't know, nothing with a lightsaber, nothing with like a, a big mm. story. Just kind of more background, yeah. which is is nice. I was nice. kind of thinking they were going to show Ayla and Kiyoti Ki- Ki- because that's what the pipeline is showing. But right, like, yeah, like, yeah. We, didn't, Ayla, we didn't, no Ayla, no. didn't get none of that, and I don't know if they're like saving those because I know they're trying to do the Obi Wan Wednesdays. They're okay, gonna, that's probably why. They're probably going to be releasing some stuff every Wednesdays now. Oh yeah, here's that Grand Inquisitor. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I'm like that's. I don't care what you say about the Grand Inquisitor. The fact that we're getting. Inquisitors in Obi Wan means that we're guaranteed getting figures, yeah, figures toys. right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and like fi- just having the body, you could even like three D print your own head, and I'm yeah. sure there's going to be people that make an accurate head, like yeah. a better head. I mean, right? Because they're all going to have what they're dual wielding spinning lightsabers, mm-hmm. right? The fifth brother look, is so perfect for a figure, and yeah. hear me out, gaming greats, six Sith sister. If it's the if it's the reuse of second if it's if, if it's the same costume as second sister they will but if it's a new sculpt they would never because they've never done a new sculpt you know for gaming grades I just yeah, want that never. big girl dude <laughs> no no they would never if, yeah if okay, it's the big girl they would never yeah I don't know I think I would that's I, a box. that's a forty dollar figure I paid forty bucks for that I'm there for it I'm there for it take my money I need uh, her. They, uh, they I need her to fight Cal. <laughs> I mean, That's they released cool. Cal as a deluxe. Yeah. So what's the to say? It wasn't like a new sculpt, that's why. And, and, and Zeb, right? Zeb was kind of a deluxe. He's a big boy. <laughs> Not as big as that girl, though. That girl's too big. <laughs> um, another thing I'm hoping to, like, oh, we'll get into another. We're, we're off topic. Let's oh, okay, going. sorry, sorry. So next up, <laughs> uh, we have the Darth know. Vader helmet. This thing is amazing. Mm-hmm. The they talked about it uh, a little bit on the show, on the on the live stream how it's a different neck piece that's longer. It's three parts, so you have the, like the neck piece, mm-hmm. then the face mask, and then the hood, mm-hmm. all magnetic. And they said that if you take like everything off and only have the neck piece on, you can still like trigger sounds of it, like him yeah. wheezing from the movie. So I have the original one, right? And it's the same. It's the same three pieces, same thing with buds right there. Yeah. Um, the, but main, yeah, the only thing that looks different to me is the eyes look like a little bit rounder. And they're and red. The one, like, way okay. Yeah, and and they're like tinted red, right? Um, but Oh yeah, the, yeah, because the original one I have, it's like it is a little red, but like not as red as this one. Yeah, and so and you also notice like that it's more of a gray instead of an all jet black. It's more of a gray. I, I got the picture from when they oh, were holding it up, so really? you can see. Yeah, so you can see it better. Oh, okay, I see that. Yeah, you can see <sighs> it better in like the normal lighting instead of like the product lighting. It is a little more gray, and I'll show you oh, here. Okay. The innards look really good. I'm not. I don't have the first one, but the innards. Look amazing. Um, yeah. I mean, I think look, that looks like pretty similar to the one I have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it looks great. These pictures don't do it oh, justice. It looks almost the same, I think. Yeah, these pictures make it look more black, but it mm-hmm. is definitely more gray. But I don't know how to the picture. That's weird to me. I don't know. I mean, that, that's probably pretty accurate, but I think mine accurate to fans, all black. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, all black. I black. When, in the live stream, when they pulled it off, it looked gray, gray. 
like a more true gray. But oh, really? That yeah. well, I'll have to see how it looks. But that's kind of I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I like the detailing that they had inside the the neck piece. That's why I kind of threw this picture in. Um, again, I don't have the first release, mm -hmm. but it's just nice to see oh, that stuff that's inside that normally wouldn't be shown. But for you, you get to see that and you know, potentially display it like that. So, I like this. Yeah. I think they did a really, really, really good job on this. And nice to see. Also, they said that, like, oh, yeah, it's all magnetic. Is the first one all magnetic? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they're, like, some good magnets. Like, yeah, like... There's some heavy-duty <laughs> magnets. Like, even if you're on a wall fall apart, like, they're nice. Yeah, in, in the live stream, they're like, oh, that's so satisfying, because it was, like, a, a clunk when it came all together. Yeah, there's, there's some good magnets. All right, the next uh, role play reveal that they and did. That one is a hundred and thirty bucks. This Darth Vader one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hundred thirty for this role playing one. Um, honestly, yeah. Like if you don't have one, I, this one looks mean. It looks good. Good little. And yeah, who knows? Maybe since a lot of people have one, it might even go on sale. That's true. That's true. All right, the next role playing one they did was the Obi Wan lightsaber. Okay, now this is so sick. The only thing. Uh, it's just, the dead is so dirty that this price point is, it looks like it's 275 ish. Yeah, two, yeah, 275. So, like, they're doing it like, oh, just, they're saying, like, oh, it's in the class with, like, the Dark Saber, the Ray Saber, and I think what else is in that class? I think that's it. And maybe, like, the Sidious one, I think. Oh, okay, okay. But I think, yeah, and so they're putting it in that class. Which it shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be, but um, they're just trying to make off the hype. Okay. In the live stream, <laughs> they just, it, it has new effects. Like? So it has a sustained crackle. So when you, like, connect with another lightsaber, it will sustain the... <laughs> right? It will sustain the crackle. Okay. Instead of just, like, the clash that most uh -huh. sabers have. If you, like sustain the crack it will like like you know like if you're doing it also has um the uh i can't remember what they called it but like a battle sequence so you can have two lightsabers displayed crisscross and trigger both of their battle sequences and they will it'll be like they're fighting uh -huh. while they're displayed uh -huh. so they are adding new things to them uh to this one at least to get them at that price point. They are they did say they are gonna be adding those for all the light series coming out. All the same. See? So it doesn't just find extra hundred, you know? I, I agree. It is like two twenty seven is a lot. Um, no, two seventy five. Yeah, sorry, two seventy five is a lot, but I I That's don't gonna cost people to steal it. Like the ray <laughs> saber. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh yeah, no, they'll steal it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's got me. I I have it's a. Got me too, because I love Obi Wan. Yeah, I have a Skywalker saber, right? I have the Legacy saber, and I have a Kylo Ren saber, and like really, those are like my all I really needed, except for Obi Wan. And I never could have found. I never did find a Force FX one um, in stores and or you know wherever they were sold. So it's nice to have one, and I do like the fact that you can display it accurately because like when they showed the fully lit up saber and when they brought out the fully lit out saber i was like that doesn't look like obi-wan's lightsaber like something's wrong with it um i'm talking about this one right here do you notice this like it looked too thick right the the, the rivets the black rivets yeah no the the, the the copper in the middle oh okay the middle picture where you see the copper it's too oh, th oh, yeah, 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 yeah right now. too thick. And so that's the one they had. They had it with the blade in. That's the one they had to show it. And I was like, that doesn't look right. And it's because the blade actually has to go all the way inside the saber. Yeah, yeah. So you have to, you pop that whole section off down to the, the black, uh, like textured stuff, the black grip stuff. And then um, you can insert the screen accurate, really, really thin one like we have on the left and right. Oh, okay, that's cool. Right, because that's that is Obi's lightsaber. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's the skinny top. That, that's cool, but yeah, that kind of sucks too. Yeah, it's just but it's way around it, so it makes sense. Yeah, it's a way around it, and so, but 
Honestly, I hope it goes on sale because I do want it. It won't. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it won't. We'll see. No, and like, like honestly, I, I can never spend more. Maybe like 120 is my limit for a saver. If it's not, if it's over 120, I won't get it. <laughs> but like, so, like you said, I I want one Obi Wan just because like I don't know, I felt a lot of lightsabers, and the way Obi Wan feels like that grip, it just feels so good. And that like the saber is balanced. Anakin's yeah. is too tubular. Or sorry, I guess the Skywalker one is too tubular. <laughs> no, it's Anakin's. You had it right the first time. I guess Anakin did create it. Yeah. <laughs> he did build it. I, I mean, it was showed up in the prequels, it showed up in the original, and it showed up in the sequels. So I call it the Skywalker Legacy Saber. No, 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 don't do that. That's for me. I call it the Legacy no. Saber because I want to incorporate everyone. Everyone who's. Oh, gotcha. You. You're inclusive. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but yeah Obi-Wan would be nice I will hopefully one day we'll be able to go to Disneyland and pick up my own saber and maybe Ahsoka's uh -huh. but this one I think uh, we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see what happens uh -huh. I do and honestly I honestly think they're like I told you this before but they don't produce as many roleplay items as they used to I feel like because I used to feel, feel like I seen every helmet before, every saber go on sale. And I think they were, like, hurting from that. And so, like, okay, just produce less. And, like, right. I never really see roll helmets go on sale anymore. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I definitely a want, for sure. All right. Uh, I can't remember why I put this picture, but... Oh, well. I think it has, like, what you can see the weathering looks nice. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, and they said apparently like, the stand that comes with it is the same stand that they have in all their sabers now. So, like, it's nice if you're displaying a lot. You can have a little bit of consistency. That's true. So, so yeah, vertical saves more room. That's true. And it does angle the sabers, like, inward so you can have them clash. Mm -hmm. So, kind of cool. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, man, it just looks so good. And, like, seeing Ewan, I love him, so... Yeah. It's cool to see him. And that's the blue apparently they're using. It's the same one they used on the Darth Vader helmet to signify uh -huh. the Obi Wan series. Um, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Here are the pipeline reveals that they did. Um, they're doing that Luke Skywalker season two of Mando, which, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> and the HK 87. Now, do you remember who or what the HK 87 droids were? Uh, yeah, they're Thrawn's droids, because you can see his... Uh, you can't see it right now, because it's really dark, but if you look in the show, you can see Thrawn's symbol on the side of their heads. Yeah, so they're the magistrates, right? They are those droids on her that are flanking her. So, cool we're getting the droid, but we'll see what else comes of it. I think they're going to fill out, eventually, this the magistrate with the with the uh, the Beskar spear and also that other guy, her, like, first lieutenant or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they'll fill out the team a little bit here, especially with the droid. But, uh, I mean, it's a droid. Cool. Luke Skywalker. We have so many, so many Luke Skywalkers. I don't know. Yeah, but one thing I wonder is how they'll do maybe the face sculpt. Like, will they just base it off of Mark Hamill, like, in Return of the Jedi, or are they going to try to do it as close as possible to, like, how we created in Mando? Oh, cool to see. I, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I bet, knowing Hasbro, they'll just do the, the one they've already, always released. Mm -hmm. But it is just a, it's just a, you know, I, in Return what, of the Jedi... We never got one with soft goods, so... We could right, yeah, soft it'll be Return of the Jedi with soft goods. Yeah. I don't see any any difference. But I guess they did announce those uh, Dark Troopers. Yeah, so right? they need this. So, yeah, that I for, totally forgot until just right now. Because I have three of those. And so it'd be way cool to have Luke Skywalker. Mm. Yeah, okay. That does make it yeah. a little bit better. <laughs> but we'll no, see. Like, honestly, the Luke Skywalker was... The, the Return of Jedi Luke Skywalker was released... Not in the black and red boxes, but in the original, original box waves. So, like, there hasn't been one for a long time. Oh, okay. Um, and they've only released one that was, like, a Walmart exclusive, and it was hard to find. So, yeah. it was good for people to get this guy. Good for the community there. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I, I wanted to show this picture just so like everyone knew where they were from. Yeah, yeah. They, and it, honestly, they need to hire the brightness in some of these shows. <laughs> no, dude, I just... No, no they you put in so much work and you can't even see the details sometimes. You're right. I, I just finished Moon Knight and like, I would say 90% of that show, the last episode, is dark. Dark, dark. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I understand it's at night, but just boost the brightness a little bit, right? Boost the... Yeah, or the contrast or something. Yeah. yeah. It's... It was so dark. And I'm just like, ugh. But that's another thing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but we'll get into now the Obi-Wan reveal. <laughs> you McGregor did it by himself. I like it. I mean, I'm not a big Soft Goods fan, but like, I think it looks good. His saber looks good. It looks great. A lot of the Obi-Wan sabers sometimes don't look as good. Um, and they don't fit in the hands as well. But the, the blade looks good. The saber looks good. The hilt looks good. To me though, the, the the blade looks really thick. It's thicker because it's 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 than I'm used to. television. Okay. Right. No, it looks really thick to me. Maybe it's like going to the back. Maybe they were using the old old blades, the thicker thicker chunky chunky boys. Uh huh. Because like yeah, because like, they they varied a lot. Even like the blue, like there's like an aqua blue. The there's even like blue, a light. Like, White blue. Yeah. <laughs> they, they vary sometimes. Yeah. So, but, uh, like, I understand that like, it's not me as an action figure, but I agree with you. It does have a good likeness of Obi- of Ewan. I think it looks yeah. like the scowl, the furrow, the beard, the hair. Um, I like him. And seeing the second trailer they released, this is very, very, I feel like, accurate. Those, those, mm-hmm. those wraps around his boots, the, the coloring of his shirt. Color. And the cool thing, too, is that he comes with a blaster. Why? Okay. Here's the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's in hiding. Just yeah, like yeah. Kanan. Right? Just like Caleb yeah, Doom. Yeah, he yeah. can't bust out his lightsaber. So he, the way if he gets into any type of trouble, he's got to blast his way out. <laughs> mm-hmm. And in the second trailer, you see him kind of use a blaster, so. I think it's it's a really good take. Um, yeah, this uh, this of course you have to get like, and I don't know. Yeah, it's it's I love it. Sad that the live stream didn't get it, but also cool that Ewan got to do it, and he has one in uh-huh. hand already. <laughs> so, but yeah, I like this one. He also has that peg for his lightsaber on, on his hilt. Mm-hmm. So. Um. Good figure. Gets me gets me more excited for Obi-Wan. Alan, did you watch the second trailer that they released yesterday? No. Oh my goodness. Go watch and I don't it. plan to. Why not? I like to go in blind, you know. It doesn't reveal anything. It's not like a Marvel I don't, one. I don't know. For me, like, think about how excited you are. I just like I'll be more excited to see it when it happens. Fair enough. I, I like watching trailers, and so... And it doesn't show a lot. It's literally like just like an expanded version of the first trailer. It's most of the oh, first okay. first trailer's footage, just a little bit more. And mm-hmm. a little more uh, Inquisitors, too. So. Yeah. And the Grand Inquisitor, don't hate on it. He looks good. Yeah, uh, like I told you, I saw the side angle. Yeah. And, like, this side angle shows <laughs> that they did, like, the lines deeper, yeah. which they should. Yeah. Because the front, I think when it's front, it just kind of disappears a little bit. Yeah. And so it looked bad, the first image that kind of everybody was looking at. Right. It was like it was just but, drawn on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And even, like, on the side, you, like, I don't know if they added cheekbones or, like, if he has high cheekbones and it just looked, like, more. Yeah. Also, one thing. The bowling ball head that he has. One thing that I, we need to consider is that Rebels, where the Inquisitor shows up in, is based off of the more skinny, streamlined, sharp angles of Ralph Macquarie's art. Right? Like, the sabers are super, super skinny. And the Grand Admiral is super, super angular. We're now taking that from the Rebels aesthetic into live action. So I think a lot of people are forgetting that, like, Rebels is is, is, is Ralph Macquarie artwork come to animation, mm-hmm. right? And it's super angular and like skinny and you know just thinner. But I'm gonna tell you this again. This is where you're wrong. You got you like everyone that's on your side is assuming that we're referencing. Oh, the Grand Inquisitor should look like from the show. 
We are referencing the pawns in Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> that's our basis point. Right? <laughs> so everyone that's complaining, I think, is like looking at the basis point. We've already seen a species live action, and not just one, multiples, right? So you could say, oh, head variation, but not really, because we saw like that's a shout out. That's a shout out to Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> no, we saw maybe more than ten. And there was not that dip, big a difference in head variations. So those pawn, pawns on, um, what pawn was it? Utpai. Yeah, Utpau. They were all there at Utpau. They have long heads. It's like, there's there's a prosthetic extension there. Which this Grand Inquisitor does not have. I don't know. The, you know! You know the guy who know. plays the main Utpau in? That he talks with Obi? He's the train master from The Matrix. Okay. That really lanky, long dude. Like, if that's the first Utapalan, yeah, their heads are going to be longer. Because they're trying to, you know, create consistency throughout. Mm-hmm. The Grand Inquisitor's head in, in Ralph Macquarie's work is a little longer than what we're getting in live action. But, but the thing is, it's not Ralph Macquarie's work because he didn't draw that. It's just the, that's the species they brought into the Rebel show. Right, but they're using his aesthetic. Like not Chewy, really only... Chewy in Ralph is super skinny. He's it's not a Zeb, yeah. right? He, well, not even Zeb, right? He's even skinnier than Zeb. Yeah. So I think we're just seeing a translation. Yes, there have been live action Utapalans. This one is no. the Grand Inquisitor. I wouldn't bail him out. I think I'm not. I'm not bailing him Old out. Hold Disney to a higher standard. We need to. I'm not bailing him out. I'm just saying that let's just give it a chance. Let's see it. All we've seen yeah. a little. Clips. I already saw. I know it's like not the best, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> All right. Uh, you and did say that Deborah Chow is pretty well versed in the expanded universe, by the way. So that gave me a little more confidence in her, um, because it's not Dave. It's not um, what's his name, John Farrow. It's Deborah Chow, which she did do some Mandalorian stuff and like Robert Rodriguez. I don't know if you watched. Oh, they released the. Behind the making of Book of Boba Fett. Boba Fett? Oh, okay, I'll yeah. check it out. I, I love Robert Rodriguez. Like, he gave us Grindhouse. He gave us the Cyber Kids, I'm pretty sure. Day. And, but, yeah, he also, <laughs> he also <laughs> gave us, yeah, yeah. he also gave us Spy Kids and Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Like, I love that Robert can play in both of those worlds. And I think Book, Book of Boba Fett was both of those, right? We had Boba Fett writing Rancor, but also the cyberpunks, or the cyber kids, the scooter gang. <laughs> so I, I, I love Robert, and so it was cool to kind of see his... Uh... Yeah, I know, it was just worth it to have the big Rancor with my chip there. That was good. That was good. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's, a good, it's a good episode. It's only one episode, uh, but it's a good making oh, of, go. of it. So, Alright, uh, let's keep going that's here. That's, we got community spotlight. that's it, yeah, we just got our community spotlight left. Um, I really, I, this cat is, I, he's the one that kind of got me wanting to do my own resin prints. Um, but what he does is, is amazing. So his name is CBD or sorry, CB prints 3d. Let's check out his Instagram real quick. If you are looking <laughs> and in my search came from, or well, the way I found him was through searching for a, a heavy infantry weapon for a troop, for a clone trooper. Like yeah, the, the rotary, the rotary gun, which the vintage collection is getting. So hopefully we'll get one in Black Series. But um, yeah. he actually had those prints, and he does those prints like pauldrons, uh, different uh, guns. He he did the the Boba Book of Boba Fett uh, droid, droid uh, played by the guy from What We Do in the Shadows. But he does, I think, a really great job at his prints, and it's mainly clone customization to make them more accurate. Um, as you see here, we, yeah. with this guy, he got the collar piece right, right? A little wider, deeper. It's it's no longer that hunter body mold. Uh-huh. But super cool. I, I really like what he's doing, Those the different weapons. and Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Because that's like the Battlefront officer turret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, <laughs> so, that's like, cool. he loves Star Wars, and you can really tell. Um, he does, of course, other Marvel Legends stuff, but... He got a better uh, arm for for uh, fives. Black chrysanthemum head, and he does like monthly download packs that you can print yourself. So that's also mm-hmm. kind of cool. But yeah, 
CB prints 3D. And I think his prices are pretty pretty good. Check out on cool. Etsy. And now does he only... Uh, so he sells the, the files plus, like... He, print, yeah, he uh, sells the files, print. also the printed stuff. Does he at all sell painted stuff? Because I know sometimes, like, sometimes people sell, like, complete, complete painted stuff. Uh, no painted stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, it's in Europe. It's in Euro, so he's from Europe? Is yeah. He guy? He's UK-based. Oh, UK. Yeah, but I think he does a really great job. And the cool thing, if you do follow him on Instagram, at uh, cbprints 3 d he will sell his misprints, his out-of-date stuff that he already has that he you know, can't sell anymore. He'll sell you, like, a whole lot, and you just have to pay. It's, like, super cheap, like, you know... Mm-hmm. A couple dollars plus shipping, right? Mm-hmm. But there's his Cad Bane stuff, so you could get your Cad Bane looking more Book of Boba Fett accurate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, CBD 3D, or sorry, CB Prince 3D. Look at this dude. <laughs> the quad cannon. Yeah, yeah, from the from the, Clone War, the original Clone Wars, yeah. Yeah. Um, super, super cool. So, just that modification of you know, you already have a bunch of clones. Why not make them into something cool? Cooler, yeah. And again, not not that expensive. He does sell, ter- you know, does have sales and stuff. But yeah, Europe, Europe, European based. Um, he's cool. I like. Yeah, five star seller. So yeah, he's like he has fifteen <laughs> five stars. Looks like yeah, he's a good seller. Yeah, he's a good seller. Comes through, and he does. He has been getting into a little more of the one six stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, you just upscale it. Pretty simple, yeah. You know? Right, yeah, for, especially with 3D printing. Look at that uh, Hobgoblin glider. But, oh, okay, that's cool. Actually, because the Hobgoblin Marvel Legends glider sucks. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Um, a lot of... It's but, like, no detail. Yeah. A lot of... Um, what was I going to say about the Hobgoblin? Oh, unpainted, right? It's all unpainted, so... Mm-hmm. But look at that, dude. That's like a get, for sure. Just... I remember, <laughs> I remember freeze framing uh, that episode where the arc troopers go in, where it's like no dialogue, right, in Gendy's Clone Wars, um, and that I remember just screenshotting that trooper like all kneeled down, firing that that can't this uh, this rocket launcher here. Um, mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! And like when I saw him that he printed, I was like, oh my goodness, you need it, <laughs> you need that. yeah, yeah. That's cool when they do things that they're like I think it. I think I like when they be like, yeah, I get it. you can do black reset, and yeah, I get it. you can do cat bait, but it's like, I would bet my whole collection on that down line in a year we're going to get those. And so I think it's cool when they do something that 99% sure we're not going to get, right? Like, we're not going to get some of those Genji clothes, some of those Genji accessories. Yeah. So I like it when they just make things that Hasbro will never make. Check this out. Yeah, that's a, like, and yeah, that's like a good example. Like, that's something probably Hasbro won't ever make unless he makes a live action appearance, right? Right. And like you use like an officer body. You yeah. got cows, that's sick. So yeah. Check them out. Uh C B Prince three D. Cool. Alright. Um <clears throat> that's it for us though. Anything else, Josh? No, that's it. Alright. Happy May the Fourth. Yeah, happy May the Fourth Blade or I guess Revenge of the Fifth or Sixth, whatever you want to celebrate. <laughs> Um, All right. Yeah, but be sure to like, subscribe. We'll be back uh, next week. We'll see what's happening. Catch you guys later. Peace.